Uh, winter's up here are long and cold and I'm going to stick to the warmth of the studio a bit. It's going to give me a chance to catch up on a few projects I've been meaning to get to. Uh, I've got a couple of really uh, interesting things to feature. Uh, parts are in order for that, so it's coming up soon. One of the things I'm going to be focusing on is the development of the HS101 Pro, the 1 mega ohm oscilloscope. The plan is to start out and prove out the integrity of this circuit, then maybe get a little fancier and add switchable AC hardware coupling, maybe go to Bluetooth, go to a black pill based HS101 Pro and ultimately lead to um, a surface mount uh, printed uh, PCB board uh, build when I work up the courage for it. But before we can run, we learn to walk and we're going to start out by proving out and checking out fully this circuit. It's a pretty snug fit inside of here. You'll recognize the 6S21, the 1117, and the variable capacitor that were discussed in greater detail in gadgets number 87. Those two electrolytic capacitors are 100 microfarads. They're 16 volts, they stand fairly tall. A lot of care has to be taken to make sure that there's going to be headroom for when you put the STM32 on top of the header. And here it is assembled and you'll notice that the Variable capacitor was positioned in such a way that it's still accessible for adjustment. Give you a look at the solder traces on the back. Fun little project. So I didn't go fancy with a case. I just completed it with a, some heat shrink. In addition to proving out the circuit, this turned out to be a pretty neat little oscilloscope in its own right. So that's one of the reasons I'm featuring it here. You carry one of these BNC to alligator clip cables, you know, throw these things in the glove compartment. You already have your uh, smartphone with you and you will have powerful scoping capabilities at your disposal wherever you go. How powerful? Let's check that out. I want to demonstrate two things with this test. One is how well the HS101 Pro can follow through the range of uh, voltage. 11.97, 10.10, 10 10.10 at the top center, 7.76, 7.76 at the top center, 5.50, 5.50 at the top center, now the second thing I want to demonstrate is that the HS101 Pro, it's not just that one mega ohm uh, impedance that's an improvement. It's also that you can choose the input range, the voltage input range from 15 volts plus or minus to 0.469 millivolt plus or minus. So let's take plus or minus one and a half volts here and work our way down. One, one point three three, one point three four. Six hundred and eighty-eight, six hundred and eighty-nine millivolts. Man, I'm going to bring it to the plus or minus, and we're over scale now. We'll bring it down, okay? I'm at three hundred and eighty millivolts here, three hundred and eighty millivolts. So we went all the way up from twelve volts where the HS101 Pro was in accord with the voltmeter and now we're right down to 380 millivolts still in accord. Pretty cool. 
And here is a 20 kilohertz, four volts peak to peak, taken at two mega samples per second sine wave. So that's at one extreme of the scale. Let's go and have a look at how it performs at the other very, very extreme end of the scale. Equally as difficult to accomplish, a four volt peak to peak, one hertz sine wave. It's doing a fine job. Pretty cool, eh? So look forward to uh, more HS101 Pro development. Also, those other uh, features that I um, hope to bring. Um, it's going to help us get through this long, cold winter. Take care, guys.